So I have a thing that I'm very passionate about and which uh, also connects to offline first and we did a lot of offline stuff actually um, during that thing. Um, and I guess I'll just tell you the story of like how it started and what, what we did. So um, so I was like spending my first winter as a nomad um, before that year uh, in China and Thailand and then I met um, Michiel who's the creator of the remote storage um, protocol actually and another friend of mine uh, in Berlin and we were on the on the train and talking about like you know where, where, where do you go for winter this year because nobody ever wants to stay in Berlin because it's too cold uh, not, not if you're a nomad anyway so um, so we were talking about it and like yeah I might go to you know I know this place in Vietnam it's like called Phu Quoc Island it's amazing it's super beautiful it has one of the most beautiful beaches and there's almost no tourists but it does have some internet and you know everybody really liked the idea and so we were saying like oh, yeah would be nice if it's not just like the three of us, but maybe more people. So we just came up with the name like on the spot and just called it Hacker Beach and uh, registered a domain the next day, uh, hackerbeach.org. Um, and I just put up like a website with next to no information and an IRC channel on Freenode, uh, which is hashtag uh, Hacker Beach. Um, and then we just went there and invited everyone to come along, but with no agenda and no program and no, you know, um, shared a, uh, like booked accommodation or anything, you would just have to actually go there, buy a tic plane ticket, uh, don't know what would happen, and just go there and join us. Um, which uh, turned out uh, 20 people did. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so then, yeah, it was pretty amazing. So some of the some of the people just came for like one week or were traveling through. Um, others, you know, stayed for the whole month. Um, so. Uh, yeah, ever, ever since that, so that was in 2013, uh, the, the first one, and ever since um, we have some, some written and some unwritten rules about uh, when it happens and where it happens. Um, so it's every year in January, and anyone is invited to join, it's all of January, and the only rule is that whenever you come to that place uh, during the month of January, uh, at any point in time, uh, you will meet other people there, and you will like not hang out alone. Um, so, so the second time we, we went to a very magical place called uh, Lamu Island in Kenya. Um, we, we lived in a fort which, which looks like straight out of Game of Thrones or something. An <laughs> uh, uh, old Osmani uh, trade fort. And uh, then, uh, yeah, after we went to Dominica in the Caribbean, which is like the least uh, visited island in the, in the Caribbean. It's really nice, just nature. And, a little bit of internet, so uh, the unwritten rules are it has uh, it has to have a little bit of internet, not too much tourism. Um, well, actually, no tourism, no direct flights, no direct international flights whatsoever, <laughs> um, and uh, it has to be uh, possible to um, to live there for about thirty dollars a day uh, maximum, so that you know everyone, it's not just for for rich people, um, um, or the most well paid, um, you know, so software people or something. Um, yeah, and so uh, the, 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 we don't have a destination for next year, but you're all invited um, to join us. We did, uh, during the first Hacker Beach, we actually created, you know, we had an idea for, we wanted to share bills, like in restaurants. So we created an offline capable app for that, um, which also sent to remote storage, where we could, you know, which we actually later used for the Africa hack trip and some uh, other, and at every Hacker Beach, beach ever since, we, we created and uh, installed a um, map that would work offline where we would put point of interest, uh, points of interest so you would know, you know where the other hackers are hanging out on the island. Um, and yeah, and sometimes they're actually offline um, because, for example, on Fukuoka Island, they just shut off power in, in parts of the island uh, randomly um, for like four hours or so. <laughs> So you have to find out where, who has a generator and who, who doesn't and who is working internet during that time. <laughs> um, but usually it's, um, so everybody, uh, most people actually work from there and we, so you can join us and actually, um, you should be able to work and at least have like voice um, calls with people. It's like the best, all the three Mbit Wi-Fi you can ever want. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, you're all invited to join us and also to propose uh, locations. It has to be uh, um, somehow pla a place that you would, not usually visit, and I, I'm sure some of you know some of those places. It has to be tropical and warm in January, and whoever books the first flight and tells others on ISC basically decided uh, the destination. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, thanks. Awesome.